Hi, it's Mo. Welcome back to the Property Vlog. On this week's video, Tom Fenton takes us around progress on site at Bramdean, which is our Richmond Grove development in Exeter. There's been a huge amount of progress on site since the last video, and we've actually taken reservations on two units. There's another one potentially coming in today, and we've also got a viewing on Brandine Villa, which is number 35, the detached house, next Tuesday. So very exciting, everything's moving along nice and quickly. So over to Tom to give us the update. Tom Fenton from KHP. I'm stood here at Richmond Grove and we're going to have a look around site and show you the progress since the last video. Welcome to Richmond Grove. Oh, we can see some curbs. This is all the preparation for the car park area. All coming together nicely. This is Bramdean Villa. The roof has been slated, the windows have been installed, gutterings been put on, soffits and fascias installed, and we are now getting closer to rendering. I'll take you inside through the front door. It's been plastered so far. It's all coming together nicely. m and &E first fix installed. Obviously scaffold's still up at the back. Once that's down, getting that little bit closer to the finishing items, like the bifolds going in here. And uh, we'll go back into the main hall and through the kitchen. Little uh, WC here. The kitchen. All the kitchen units have arrived. Utility in the back. Plastered. And out through the back garden. So you can see the stairs have gone in. If access is good enough, I'll, uh, I'll show you upstairs. Okay. You can if you want. Here you go. Good job, well then. I'll leave them to it, otherwise I'll be getting in their way, plastering. We're going to the music house. They're on the ground floor of the music house. First apartment on the right hand side has all been plastered. That's good. Skirtings have been installed. Framing out for the iron suites has been done. We're very close to mist coating in here and then tiling in the follow on trades. It's like one opening to do in the rear of this one. Uh, halfway through doing. But we've also got some kitchen units here. Appliances. Go into the opposite two units. I'll do the left hand side one first. This one has been mist coated. You can see all the kit for the underfloor heating here. Coated on all the walls apart from the window wall. This one has the startings of a kitchen. You can see exactly where the kitchen will be in this one. See some shower trays here. Some of the skirting. Take you through to the next apartment. The ground floor still. Same sort of state. Mist coated. Door linings in. Skirtings in. Awaiting the window delivery in this building. But kitchen appliances and units here. So it's getting very close to finishing down here once those windows have been installed. Fortunately, we've had a lot of dry weather, so there's not, not been much water ingress. I go up this staircase, it's somewhat temporary as, as it stands, considering the scaffold handrail. See in front of you where the lift will be. Do this apartment on the right first. This one's currently being plastered, so I won't go in there. Two units on the left. I'll take you through the left one first. So we've got Architraves on this one as well. The skirt in architraves, mist coated. Oh, we've got a bath here. First bath installed. And we've got the kitchen, which looks further on than the one downstairs, so that's good. I'll just pan back so you can see the full thing. Oh, that was nice. Wine rack. Right, so we go back out of this apartment and I'll take you in the one next door. So this is the front door, you go in through this apartment, cupboard on the right, bedroom with an iron suite with a bath stored in there temporarily, utility cupboard space, the bathroom, the main bathroom which does have a bath in it, big bedroom, another cupboard space, and then the kitchen which also has the units installed. So now we will go up to the top floor. So going from the first floor up to the second floor of the music house. So we'll do the right room again first. This is some more work to do to bring it forward. So you can see obviously where the partitions have been installed, but they're still at the M&E first fix stage up here. You see the lift. So if you do live on the top floor, you've got to lift all the way up to your landing on your floor, which is good. I'll take you into this apartment, AKA the disco. And this is where your kitchen will be in here. But they're still insulating the external walls at the moment. And then I'll go in the apartment next door. It's easier to talk in. 
Uh, that is just missing a partition at the back, but that's a big bedroom there. There will be some cupboard space, a main bathroom, a bedroom, and then what will be the kitchen space. I'll just show you. Poke the phone out of the window so you can see what you'd be looking out at. Nice peaceful views. And that is it for the music house. So the, what I'll show you next after this is the schoolhouse and also the detached building at the rear of site, which is called the Muse. So next we're going to schoolhouse. So I'll stick up. We're on the upper ground floor, so I'll just stick on this floor as we came in this way. So we're now in what has been the rear extension. So this is actually a large, large apartment. This one. Also at that sort of early stage of setting out partitions and m and &E first fixing. The things are all coming along. There's been a lot of structural work to get to this point. Do some of the metal partitioning that's gone in and the fire compartmentation, the underside of the floor. That gives you the 60 minutes fire between party floors. This is one of the communal entrances of what, what this will become stair two. So we'll go up this stair two, up to the first floor of the schoolhouse. So a lot earlier in the stages here, so you can see the exposed brickwork, lots of work that is still to be done up here before partitioning is commenced, but not too far off. There's been a lot of floor levelling, see there the, the rear extension and uh, all the new floors that have gone in. And then what I'll do now is just take you up to that second floor because that's where a lot of the work's been happening on this building because it's had a whole new roof structure. A lovely sunny day for it. This is the whole new roof structure for the second floor. And then I'll take you through to the middle apartment. There's three on this floor. This floor's got a roof terrace, which is what this is here, nice outdoor area for this apartment. And then I'll take you through to the third apartment on this floor, which is also the new roof structure, but has had the membrane installed as well. So it's currently enclosed and watertight. This side, aside from the windows, have not gone in. Okay, all right, let's go down. I'll go back out through the front door. Bill Bailey, the architect. So this is the Muse attached property at the rear of site. Since the last video, we've got the roof structures gone on, plus the felt and batten, and also the windows have gone in. So we'll go inside here, have a look what's changed inside. Not a huge amount of change, aside from, as I said, the windows. Underfloor heating, gone in. Some of the floor, the first floor. Yeah, minor progress. At least the, the roof's on, that's the, the big item to get out of the way and obviously the windows going in is huge as well. We usually leave the doors till a bit later just to avoid damage and that's it really. Just have a look in the lower ground of the school. So I'm here. Similar sort of state, although they've started to mechanical first fix. Oh, actually now we can see some metal partition in. Yeah, so things are moving on the lower ground floor as well. Just one step at a time, but it's moving closer. Okay, so. That's it, that's Richmond Grove, till the next time. So a massive thank you to Tom Fenton, our development manager, for taking us through that update. As you can see, loads of progress since the last video. If you're interested in any of the units, I'll put the contact details for Savills uh, in the description of this video. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.